Hi loveliest people, today I want to do something really different and that is like, you know, sometimes you probably hear about, you know, Greeks say tzatziki is Greek and Turkish people say it's Jejik and Lebanese people say something else and this goes on and on and on. It's like, this is the song that never ends, it goes on and on, on my friend. This is the song that With that attitude, what I'm saying that these great food that we have in the world belongs to all of us. We are just like different keepers of it. So today I want to show you a table that if you fly to Turkey and went to Antakya, a table that you will likely visit if you go to a restaurant, you'll see that it's rather different than what you would have in Istanbul or Ankara or Izmir. And there are so many different cities like this in Turkey. If you go to the central Turkey, which is Nevşehir and Kayseri with mantas and it's a different story when you go to Izmir, it's more like Rakı and Mezes. Kars is a totally different story, etc. etc. So it's a different world everywhere. And I just wanted to show you one of those cities and let us celebrate on these days that we are more likely in our homes. We can make feasts with our hands and create something that will soothe us, that will make us happy and sharing it is the most valuable one. So if you have like few people that you see, you can share this with those people and I would be so, so very happy. The main dish is the tepsi kebab. Tepsi kebab is a traditional thing from Antakya. If you just get one bite, you fall in love with it and in two minutes the dish finishes. Secondly, we have hummus. I have done our classical hummus with different toppings from Antakya region and we have something called biberli ekmek which is pepper bread it was a bit of cheese and pepper so easy to make I made it into an easier version and we have an olive salad that you must make with a bit of thyme and pomegranate and parsley we have tahini tarator we call we have a similar version of it on the channel in the tahini video if you want to know what tahini is you can go to that video this is how the story goes Now, let's start with the pepper bread. Pepper bread is this bread which is cooked in the streets of Antakya. It's crunchy at the middle and on top of it there's pepper paste and together with some cheese and incredible goodnesses. I'm going to give you a five minute recipe to make this bread. First, I have to dice my cheese. Here I used feta cheese, but originally some kind of çökelek, which is similar to ricotta is used. After dicing the cheese, we need some onion. We finely chop the onion and then mix the onion with the cheese. Onion's acidity helps the cheese to dissolve to the whole flatbread much faster. To the mixture I add some pepper paste, nigella seeds and sesame seeds. Then I have great green olives. I take the seeds out and mince them. This is a great meaty texture and it will add a great dimension to the flatbread. And here I have some kekik, which is a form of thyme. Finally slice it and add it to the mixture. If the mixture sits for about two, three hours, it would be great, but if you don't have time, Take a flatbread, it could be a tortilla if in your country it is sold, and then distribute the greatness and put it in the oven. First to the bottom side for about two minutes and then to the top level for about another two minutes. So in four minutes, incredible pepper bread is ready. Zeytin of is some kind of an olive salad. We take the seeds of the olives, add spring onions and some parsley and mix them together really, really well. If you have it, actually you must have it, some pomegranate paste, or if you don't have it, it could be something sour, like you can use lemon and molasses and mix them all together and add some pomegranate seeds. And here you have a great olive salad. 
And now we have something called Tain Tarator. Tarator means different things in I know different languages, but this is a great side dish for any kind of meat. It is a heavenly thing for vegans as well. To make this, I have some walnuts. I finally chopped those walnuts. Two cloves of garlic. I crush them and mince them really well with a bit of salt. Add a bit of tahini, some water and some lemon. The acidity first holds together the tahini, which is the sesame paste actually. Then when I whisk it slowly, it turns into this really good textured greatness. And you can eat it with bread, you can eat it with meat. Now, here comes the hummus. When you think about Antakya, hummus is one of the first things that comes to your mind. For the hummus recipe, we have this great recipe from the video you might have watched. If you haven't watched the video in detail, I'm putting a link at the top. Please watch it after this video. It's an incredible one and you'll have a great hummus every time you stick to the recipe. Now I'm gonna briefly summarize it. First, we have to take the skins of the chickpeas. We have a technique for it. Put a floating water and then rub your chickpeas and the skins will come up. When you pour the water out, the skins will be collected. And if you repeat this for a few times, you're going to get rid of all the skins. But don't forget to reuse the skins. You can make meatball or you can dig a hole in your garden and soon they will become a fertilizer. To the processor, I add the chickpeas, then garlic, then some tahini, lemon juice, olive oil and a bit of salt. That's almost all we need. I start the food processor and it's going to take 10 minutes to make it creamy. And while the processor works, the mixture gets heated. And to prevent that, every minute I throw an ice cube. So here I have this creamy, great hummus ready. And in Antakya region, they put some pickles, some fresh tomatoes, cumin, sumac and parsley. And here we have this incredible thing. and I've put the best to last. When you go around Antakya, one thing for sure you're going to eat is tepsi kebab. And tepsi kebab is probably done in the streets of Antakya for centuries and centuries. And in the ancient Long Bazaar in Antakya, there's this place which I have visited and ate my tepsi kebab for the first time. And then I later fell in love with it. Normally, the butcher minces the meat in front of you and then adds the goodness and puts them into a tray, send it to the bakery, which is around next door. And the baker cooks the meat and also makes a fresh bread and sends both of them to you to eat. So I wanted to turn this recipe to an easier version so that everyone all around the world can make at home. For the ingredients, we don't need much. We need the minced meat, parsley, onion, garlic, red pepper and green peppers. You can use any kind of red pepper you like. Instead of chopping the meat, I bought from my butcher one time grinded meat. If you have hamburger meat already in the fridge, you can also use it. After I add all these ingredients, I mix it very, very well. About four to five minutes, I knead it. This is very important. This makes the whole köfte stick together. Then I put some olive oil to the tray so it won't stick to the bottom. And then by pressing the whole meat, I make it round round and thin. It will become about one and a half centimeters thick. With a wooden spoon, I push the meat from the side so that it becomes more circular. Then on the side, I add some pepper paste and put some warm water and mix them together and spread that mixture on top of the meat and some peppers, onions, tomatoes. These look great and when you wrap and make a durum, they are going to be incredibly tasty. I put it in the oven to the highest heat, which is 280 degrees Celsius in my oven. And then I put it to the middle rack. When it's cooking, the kitchen is going to smell great. And then when you take it out, what you should do, there's going to be some water. You have to wet your bread with the water and then get some meat and put onion, tomatoes and peppers and wrap it in eat it. It's going to be delicious and the water and the kebab is to die for. Hope you like this video. Please tell me whether this was like too complicated or it was fine. Whether you would want less food but detailed explanation or something like this. If you haven't subscribed, 
subscribe to the channel. If you are already subscribed and you would like, oh yes, John would be really interested or Hazar would be really interested. If you have those friends and people who are interested from all over the world, please, 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 please subscribe and share the news. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.